category is short stories and collections, and in honor of David Letterman's recent retirement, we'd like to read the top 10 reasons why short stories are great. But because they're short, we'll distill it down to the top three. Number three, they're one of the only forms of literature you can enjoy in one bathroom sitting. Number two, much like bad sex, if you hated it, it'll probably be over soon. <laughs> Number one, they haven't gone all politically correct and insist they be called length-challenged stories. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited. My, my agent, who works really hard for me, actually informed me I've been asked to make a stand-up appearance on Late Night with David Letterman. <laughs> you know the show's over. It is? He did his last show last week. Oh, okay, I need to call my agent, excuse uh, me. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's read the finalists first. Okay, okay. Okay? Okay, focus. Here are the finalists for short stories and collections. The Assassination of Margaret Thatcher by Hilary Mantel, narrated by Jane Carr. Dangerous Women by George R.R. R. Martin and Gardner Desois, narrated by Claudia Black, Scott Brick, and a full cast. Face Off by, by David Baldacci, narrated by Dylan Baker, Dennis Butzikaris, and a full cast. Heroes, Gods, and Monsters of the Greek Myths by D Bernard Evslin, narrated by Todd Habercorn. The Legend of Drizzt by R.A. Salvatore, narrated by Dan Harmon, Danny Pudi, and a full cast. And The Wily O'Reilly by Patrick Taylor, narrated by John Keating. And the Audi goes to... So the Assassination of Margaret Thatcher. 